Let's talk about the magic of organization and how it can transform your life from chaos to queendom. One of the biggest myths about getting organized is that it's all about color-coded planners and pristine closets. What they don't tell you is that true organization isn't just about tidying up. It's an energy that radiates through every aspect of your life. Organization queens like Marie Kondo and Grace Michelli didn't just become icons because of their neat spaces. They mastered the art of life management, creating empires of efficiency. And while I deeply respect these women, I believe their blueprint needs a twist for those of us who crave inner peace as much as picture-perfect spaces. So, if you're yearning to embody that organized energy without losing your sanity, here are three pieces of unconventional wisdom that will crown you the queen of your own life. 1. Embrace the power of prioritization. First, stop trying to organize everything at once. The biggest trap is thinking you need to overhaul your entire life in a weekend. That's like trying to rule a kingdom before you've even learned to rule your day. Start with your daily throne, your to-do list. But not just any list. I'm talking about a royal decree divided into two courts. Corda, the High Council. These are your non-negotiables. The tasks that, if left undone, could topple your kingdom. Like that report due tomorrow. Or picking up your little prince or princess from school. Court B. The Royal Wishes. Tasks you'd like to accomplish but won't cause a revolt if they wait. Like reorganizing your spice rack or scrolling through TikTok for just five more minutes. By separating these, you're not just organizing tasks. You're prioritizing your energy. And trust me, when you focus on your high council first, you'll feel like you're wearing an invisible crown all day. 2. Create your calendar. Now, let's zoom out from your daily rule to your monthly reign. Most people's calendars look like a jester's juggling act all chaos and dropped balls. But yours, it's going to be a masterpiece of monarchical management. Your calendar doesn't just date. It includes your daily duties, yes, but also your monthly quests. Things like budget reviews your kingdom's treasury, meal prep plans feasts for your future self, and even self-care Sundays because every queen needs her spa day. The magic? When you lay out your month like this, grocery shopping becomes a breeze because you're not just buying food, but provisioning for pre-planned feasts. And budgeting? You're not just counting points, you're ensuring your kingdom's prosperity. Guard your royal rituals. Lastly, and this is the crown jewel of advice, don't let just anyone or anything breach your castle walls. In today's world, we're bombarded by notifications, emails, and urgent demands. But remember, not every message deserves an immediate royal audience. Create sacred times in your day that are as untouchable as your crown jewels. Maybe it's your morning yoga, your lunchtime read, or your evening bath. These aren't just breaks. They're your royal rituals. They recharge your queenly energy so you can rule with grace, not just grit. And here's the unpopular part. It's okay to keep some of these rituals secret. Not every subject needs to know your every move. This isn't about being secretive. It's about maintaining the mystique of the monarch. Because when you guard your energy, you have more to give to what truly matters in your kingdom. So, my aspiring queens remember, prioritize like it's your royal duty, calendar like you're planning a year of feasts, and guard your rituals like they're your most precious jewels. Do this, and I promise, you won't just be organizing your life, you'll be reigning over it. And always remember, in the grand palace of life, you're not just the keeper of the keys, you're the queen, now go forth and rule your beautifully organized realm. Until next time, may your days be as structured as your dreams are wild.